Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 28 Fog Rolling In. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to open a new FLA. I'm going to keep the default settings for now. Layer 1, I'm going to call it Picture, P I C, Pic, and I'm going to import a picture that we can put some fog on. So under File, Import to Library. It takes a while to bring this picture in. Now we can browse for the picture. I have it on my desktop in this folder. And here it is, Yard. That brought it into the library, which I have docked here. If you don't have your library docked here, click on the Windows and you'll find library. Open my library and I'm dragging the yard onto my stage, onto that frame one. Now, I want to look at this picture for a minute. So I'm open the library, right click, properties. It's 612, 612 by 459. That's the size of it. So close this, close this, pull this up, drag the picture off the stage for a minute, click on the stage, see I'm off the stage, click on the stage, open the properties panel, and here's the size of my stage. I want to make that the same size that that picture was. In my case it was 612 by 459. Close it. I have frame 1 selected. I have my picture selected. I can see that blue line. Now I can open the alignment panel. Same thing if you haven't got it docked here. You'll find it under Windows. Under Window. So I'm clicking on it. Make sure this is checked aligned to stage. There's my horizontal alignment, my vertical alignment, and now that fits perfectly inside my stage. Going to 50%, there's my picture. Going to lock that layer. Drop all the way down to 25%. Open a layer, call it Fog1, F-O-G-1. And pick up your paintbrush. I'm going to find a fill color of grayish. There it is there. And I'm just coming over here to the right hand side and you can see the gray that I'm making here. A little bit of gray, a little bit of gray, a little bit more gray. All right. A little bit more more gray. Now I got this arrow here because I, I forced myself to the edge so I get to get this so I can get this lever to move over here like that. Again I force myself to the edge, get some more. I want this to be quite long. About three times as long as the pitcher, two times as long as the pitcher. Oh uh, that's pretty pretty good there. Okay. Pick up your selection tool. The only frame that's selected is frame one. The only layer is this fog layer. Highlight the whole thing. Go up here to modify. Convert to a symbol. Make sure it's movie clip. Call it fog F O G one underscore M C. Fog movie clip. While it's selected. Go to the Properties panel, and down here, Filters. Click on Filters. If it isn't open, open it like that. And down here in the corner, in this little one, add a filter. See it? And I want it to be a blur. I want to blur it out. I want a high level of blur. And... If you look at the 
if you look up here while I move this you can see that it fades out so I want it about there okay close that panel and for now just drag that over on top of the picture I want to blur that out a little bit more so it's highlighted make it click down here oops click it and move it there see how nice and light this is okay close that layer close that panel lock that layer make a new layer insert a new layer above that fog layer call it fog 2 do something similar now you can see the get a fog in there pick up a slightly darker color of fog and if you want to get some idea you can click this right here and that shows you see what I did right here this is showing me how much fog I have on that previous one okay and one pick my paintbrush up make sure I got frame one selected and I'm gonna make some more fog make it approximately the same length Try to fill in where you can see where the other one doesn't, isn't. All right. I kind of like that. A little bit here. Pick up your selection tool. Highlight all that. Modify, convert it to a symbol. Movie, movie clip should still be selected. Fog 2. F O G two underscore M C. Okay. Go to the filter again over here. Insert a filter, blur, and just click and drag that. So that one's like that. And there's my fog effect. I want that one here to be just a little bit lighter little more there much better close that lock that layer and hide them two layers then I have two layers of fog that I have sort of hidden okay now these two top layers there's my fogs this is fog 2 F O G 2 Okay, insert another layer. Fog 3. F O G 3. Enter. And do the same thing. Pick up a darker color. That's really dark, so I'm just going to click on that, go to the pinwheel, and pick a lighter shade of that black. There somewhere in there okay and click frame one and, and make sure that there's a little bit here and a little bit here like so it's like where the fog starts and stops so make sure there's just a little bit here to start with then come into your main fog some more fog here some more here some more in here you can't you can't do anything wrong here and some more here okay pick up your selection tool highlight all that modify convert it to a symbol again movie clip and this is fog 3 f o g 3 underscore m c you can see the blue mark so i have it selected and back to my filters insert a filter I want the blur filter and again just fade that right out now let's look at all of them so make them all visible there's my fog I want it, one of them is pretty dark that one seems to be all right it's this one here oh I just maybe they're all right that one that one right there 
click on it select the layer click on that filter again and change it a little bit there that's much better for me okay let's go with that for now get the picture now lock make sure the only thing that's locked is the pictures layer so they're all locked unlock fog 3 unlock fog 2 and unlock fog 1 go up to about frame 55 come down click on it come down select all four layers right click insert keyframes click on them go back to frame one select some tool everything selected so I can see here one two three on my three fog layers selected I'm gonna just drag them all so that they're completely off the screen so there's not no fog at all on the screen gonna go all the way up to this last layer again my selection tool make sure I have it all one two three layers and drag it so that it's right off the screen completely off the screen that's not quite far enough a little more there's completely off the screen now click in this fog one right click classic tween click in this one here classic tween and classic tween so now let's see what this looks like control test the movie and here's the fog rolling in now it's really moving fast isn't it so let's go back to the timeline click on all four hold them down and take them way up to about 400 there I'm at 464 now let's try it test movie and here comes the fog see it rolling in here that's the fog rolling in and if this was a, like an ocean with a pirate ship on it or something this is a real good effect and there's the bare spot and then it's going to come back loop around and come in now you can play around with the different layers of fog and shift them where you want but I think you you get the idea I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.